Welcome back sports fans who run the world girls is a proud girl dad. I agree time for some elite eight playoff action starting with the Warner Robins Demonettes in the inner national city. Big Red hosting Midtown, formerly known as Grady High School out of Atlanta. Trey Little, two time Wilkinson County State basketball champ, is the head coach of Midtown looking to play spoiler. Midtown has some shooters. Sinclair Richmond knocks down the money ball. Bang, bang, bang. She finished with 13, but Demonettes four general Tori Davis just can't miss. I'll get in there. Yeah, yeah. Bombs away from the junior. She had a game high 21 points tonight. Then the Demonettes do what they do best, and that's dominate in the paint. Kennedy Howard using the square for two. Then Tasia Agee with the steal on the other end of the floor. Starts the transition and finds Chelsea Duke Thomas, who finishes at the cup like a boss. She's a beast with the rock. Then here comes senior Jada Morgan. A move, a move, a get out the way. Get out the way. That's a layup for the home team. And the Lady Knights, they wouldn't go away, though. Another three-pointer keeps things close in the first half. Dive in, switch. But the future is bright for Coach Sheree White because sophomore Corviana Slaughter has been turning up in the postseason. That's a nice basket for number 34. And region and player of the year, Jada Morgan, out muscling the competition, coming up with the score to lead by four at halftime. A couple of minutes later, fast forwarding to the late fourth quarter at Midtown. Yeah, that's three for three. Cuts the lead to a five point after a 15 point deficit, but the demon that's in trouble, but not for long. Jada Morgan, she does what she does. That's two of her 14. And like I said before, Corviana Slaughter with her biggest bucket of the night, a three-point play the hard way, and the Demonettes continue dancing. They head to the Final Four for the second year in a row, facing Calhoun on Friday night at the University of West Georgia. The final, 73-63. to Just down the road, Taylor County, 27-1, the best start for the program since they last won it all in 2015, hosting the Randolph Clay Lady Red Devils first quarter. Natasia Josie hits from behind the arc, the first of her three three-pointers in a row to take the lead for the visitors. But in the second quarter, RC leads by two. Taylor County's Jalea Zachary picks off the ball, takes it all the way for the layup to tie things up. Still tied, Alasia Montgomery shot is no good, but senior Jalea Zachary is there for the rebound and the putback to take a two-point lead, and the Lady Vikings wouldn't look back after that. The lead is now 10 points for the home team. In the third, stop me if you heard this name before, but Jalea Zachary takes it to the rack, gets the layup and the foul. It's the second Final Four in a row for Taylor County as well. They win big over Randolph Clay, 64-35. to Taylor County will play Clinch County in the Final Four Saturday at 6 o'clock in Valdosta. Baldwin gets the big win over Luella, the, late, the Brave Vets. That's the same team that put them out last year. Janiah Walker had 23 points and 15 boards. The six foot two a sophomore in the win. Bad loss for the Central Chargers, only their second loss of the season. What a great run for Coach Bolston Williams. Mary Persons and Wilcox County also bow out in the Elite Eight on the road, but fired up Greyhounds, fired up. Coach Buck Harris and the Purple and Gold boys get their third upset win on the road, this time over Hiram. The number four seed lives to fight another day in the boys final four. Now that's it for sports. We're wrapping up the show after the break. Please stay with us.